Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Arab and the Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of September general love reading. Now keep in mind this is general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So Aquarius and I almost said Scorpio. So some of you guys are done with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visual. Yep, because I'm seeing the death card. Um, there could be a death or a rebirth in a situation. I don't pick up that it's a physical death. I'm picking up some type of transition or some type of ending. Mm, yes, ending. Okay. So when I was meditating over you guys, energy, the song that I heard was by your side by Jadakiss. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, that's not a love song per se, but it does talk about, you know, a connection and a bond that someone has and somebody sticking by another person's side no matter what. And I feel like that's what a lot of you all have done. You have stuck by someone's side, but I feel like there, there could be an ending or there was a recent ending. I feel like this is very recent if there was an ending or there could be some type of ending because I feel like there's some type of deception here. I'm going to be honest with you because in your pre-shuffle, the very last card, and there's 79 cards here in your general energy deck, right? The very first card that stuck out was the Seven of Swords. Liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. Um, Swords is your element, so you can be dealing with a fellow Aquarius, possibly also a Gemini or a Libra. Also, you guys have very strong Earth and um, fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus. And you know what? I take that back. You guys had water also. Cancer, by Scorpio. So you guys had all the elements. So, you know, anything can show up in this, um, in your spread. But I feel like more than anything, like I said, somebody is like, okay, I've been by your side no matter what. And it's just time for this situation to come to the end. I'm, I'm seeing revolving doors. Like literally just going in a circle and revolving doors, never getting off. And just as soon as I said that this candle, your candle just went out. So I feel like, yeah, there's an ending. Like this candle with the fact that the candle went out, it's like, okay, lights out. I'm tired of this. I'm done with this. I can't keep um feeding this situation. Energy is what I'm getting. Also, as I just heard Jada Kiss, right? He had a song called Kiss the Game Goodbye or an album called Kiss the Game Goodbye. Like somebody's like, kiss all these games goodbye. I'm tired of this. I'm done with this. This is a bunch of games. Again, revolving door. Like a hamster on the wheel, like it's, it's just an ongoing cycle, and somebody's ready to put an end to it again with that death card energy. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're gonna part the deck randomly, change the card at the top and the bottom. Yep, I'm seeing the seven of swords again, some type of deception. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So if we get any reversals, once I start shuffling, I will read it as such. So now at the bottom of the deck, yep. Ooh, I can't make this up. Are you guys watching what I'm doing? Eight of Cups, walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Cups talks about the emotions and feelings. You could have been with this person for eight plus years. Um, also, in August, you could have walked away from this individual. Okay? It's just, if you see her back is facing us. And you guys had major Aries energy. And, I, and I, this just really caught my attention because I don't care what element it's in. Every time I see this red dress, it just automatically makes me think about Aries. And you guys did have major Aries elements in your pre-shuffle. But um, I feel like very strongly, you may have found out something around the time of the full moon in, a, in um, August. And also, someone just literally may have walked away in August and we just left August. So, somebody may have walked away from a situation. That's why I said I feel like this ending was more recent. Definitely could have been with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because she's literally leaving these cups behind. This could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. But more than anything, like I said, some, you're just leaving these emotions behind in the past. You're walking away from it, turning your back on it. Trusting your intuition because the moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about. Fear, your intuition, okay? Let's see what's funny here. Yep, some, something was toxic. You may have found out that someone was attached to two different people. Somebody also could have been dealing with someone who's very controlling. You have Capricorn energy right here with the devil. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to shuffle the deck upright a couple of times until we get your major arcana, which would be the star card. We will get the cards that come before and the cards that come after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let's part the deck randomly. Yep, somebody walked away. Man, look, you got her back facing us, and then you have another person's back facing us. There was some type of arguments and conflict, and there was a walking away. Someone had to, I'm, I'm hearing that somebody had to tell someone how they truly felt, and it may have been you. You were tired. You were fed up. You could have also been dealing with a May Gemini because you do have five of swords here. Okay. So let's go ahead and shuffle and see what we get for you guys today. Again, we're going to shuffle all the cards upright. Yep. Somebody may have put you in a third party situation because you have three of cups here. And look what sneak. 
You see that? You seen that was peeking out? So you just had the five of swords, now you have the five of wands. Again, I'm going to say, you got three cups right here. And look right in between their hands. His hand stops here. His hand stops here. One, two, three. You know, somebody may have put you in a third-party situation. For sure. Oh, yeah. Somebody put you in a third-party situation. Look what was peeking out. One, two, three. Yeah. And then I said fire. You had three of wands and, and then five of wands. Fire. Leo, Sash, Aries. And then even with the devil card, that was Capricorn. But you, look at that. But there was fire um, around him. There was a fire sign who may have been a little toxic. Here's your major arcana. We're going to keep shuffling until we get a card that comes in front of it. Somebody put you in a third-party situation. One, two, three. This is the four of cups, but she's facing these three, you know. And this person tried to feed you some bullshit. They thought you wouldn't see them for who they truly were. Again, something with that full moon. Something may have come to light during the time of the full moon. Now, if you're still with this person, it could be the full moon of of um, this, this um, September that you're going to find out something. I always tell you guys, three days before, during, and three days after full and new moons, Things are illuminated. That veil is very thin. And if you see she was blindfolded, that was the veil. Somebody's not seeing the situation for what it is. But at the bottom of the deck, you have your major arcana, also Aries, with the fool card, taking a leap of faith into something new. Some of you guys are moving forward into a different situation, leaving something that was no longer fulfilling to you. Some of y'all could be moving towards a cancer. Somebody who's going to make you quite happy because you have three of cups. Now, three of cups is not always about, you know, um, third party, but I do I did pick that up when we had those other energies. The three of cups is also about celebrations and unions and coming together. Um, yeah, this could be very positive moving forward because you have the sun card. Sun card is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Whenever the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. But I'm gonna say again, if you're dealing with a fire sign specifically, they may have put you in a third party because you have three of cups right here, and then you have two children who are attached to the sun. So some of you guys could, if you were dealing with a fire sign, Leo specifically right there, Leo and Aries, they could have put you in a third party situation. And as I was picking this up, this one to sneak up. So what's this? Yep. Four swords. Some of you guys have decided to pull back and retreat from communicating with this individual. I always tell you guys, sword up yes, sword down no. And this is your energy. The swords are down. So some of you all may not have been speaking to this person for the last four days, four weeks, or four months. Um, because again, the swords are down. So this is someone who has decided that they're going to retreat. I'm just going to tuck this in here randomly. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. You definitely guys, you were dealing with somebody who was juggling. One ship is coming in as another ship sailed, but this ship is still in the picture. Ship, relationship. So someone was in a relationship already. And then they are, they, they just moved on to something else or was entertaining something else while they were still in a situation. Because again, the ship is still in the picture. It may be leaving, but it's still in the picture. You get what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get you guys card, the star card. And you guys know star talks about wish fulfillment and healing. Some of you guys are looking forward to healing from a situation that was quite devastating or heartbreaking. So let's see what card comes before and what card comes after for Aquarius, okay? So you literally have, yep, the seven of cups. Somebody's keeping their options open. And then the two of swords. And look, there you go. I'm telling you, somebody put you in a third-party situation. Um, possibly a water sign who was involved because you do have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups talks about illusion, confusion, feeling emotionally scattered. Also, someone keeping their options open. Again, I'm telling you, somebody put you in a third-party situation, okay? Because you have Seven of Cups all together, but in this row, you have three. And then right in the center, this is clearly a human figure that you can't see who they are. They're cloaked. And if you look at her, she looks like she's going through some type of distress or grief. And that's why I said some of you are needing to heal from that because you have cups, that's the emotions. And then right here, your water, your water bearer. You see how right behind, again, I feel like this is you, right? Two of swords. There's a large body of water behind her. So she's trying to push these, suppress. I'm here to suppress these emotions. Some of you all need to deal with this. Somebody doesn't want to, they're guarded and defensive, but they're heartbroken. You see how there's a keyhole right here where her heart chakra is, where the dress is. Somebody knows it's time for them to heal, but they're, they're having a lot of ruminating thoughts, kind of scattered-minded. A lot of this, I feel like a lot of you all also have a lot of water in your chart as well. You know, there's a lot of water-based energy here. But more than anything, somebody just feels like they, they're not sure. And I feel like when I say they, I feel like it's you feeling like you're not sure what you could do. And remember what I was saying, the song that I heard was by your side. It's like someone knows because the moon is right over her head. 
someone knows that something's going on, they don't want to see it. They're guarded and protected because they, they just want to stick things out. And I feel like this could be you unless you're dealing with a fellow air sign. And by no means am I saying that you're gullible or foolish. I just feel like somebody... There's there's distress all in this situation again because look at her facial expression. Her See, and it's interesting because her eyes are closed. But you can see clear grief on her face. And then right here, she's blindfolded. Her eyes are closed and she's blindfolded. So again, I'm going to say that's not to say that you're gullible or, or anything like that. But I do feel like there's some emotional denial because somebody was trying to stick by someone's side no matter what. They, they really were trying to stick it out. Because those swords are up being guarded and defensive. But something is coming to the light or something has come to the light. See, I can't make this up. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the five of cups. One, two, three. Somebody was trying not to face it. Somebody was trying not to see it. But you have no choice but to see it when it's right in front of you. Somebody put you in a third party situation. I'm telling you, you got three of cups right here. And then right here in this row, there's three. And then there's a person that you can't see right in the center, right in the center. Okay. So let's part the deck so we can shuffle up. Oh, please, I can't make this up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? You went from the five to the four. Right here, he's looking down at one, two, three. And right here in front of him, one, two, three. It's like, no matter how much you try to avoid it, it's just constantly being brought to your attention. You know what I mean? That there's some type of third party situation here. And it's hurtful. And again, she's guarded and protected. And then right here, he has his arms crossed. Like he's not accepting it. Somebody doesn't want to accept it. Mm. But it, it looks like you have no choice. You or your person. Somebody has no choice in this situation. They're gonna see. You guys are watching what I'm doing, and this is why I have this <laughs> this at this angle. Somebody was fussing talking about the the angle in which I had the camera. I want you guys to see every single shuffle, because I don't I don't make up anything. I'm I'm only giving you guys what I'm picking up. Somebody doesn't want to see this because they don't want to have to face heartbreak. Because look upright, his back will be facing heartbreak in reverse. Once somebody finds out and acknowledges this third party situation, then you got three of swords here, a lot of three stuff, then they have to face heartbreak. And someone is trying to avoid that. And I feel like, again, if you're not dealing with a fellow air sign, it's you trying to avoid having, I'm telling you, trying to avoid having to face it. She's blindfolded. Don't want to see the situation for what it is because you literally been by this person's side. I feel like this person has been through, you have been through hell and high water. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. You have been through hell and high water with this person. Right here, her bottom half is submerged in this water in the background. She's submerged in this water. Okay, water, submerging in water. So somebody is like, I've been through hell and high water in this situation. And I, I refuse to give up on us. But there's just too much. You could be married to this person because you have a queen of pentacles. Okay, you could have invested because you see how she's looking at this pentacle. You could feel very invested like you invested a lot. Yep, I've seen Ace of Pentacles. Someone feels like they don't want to give up because they invested a lot in this relationship, in this situation. But you're not getting an equal return. I'm telling you that right now. Bottom of the deck. Yes, Emperor. Reverse. Um, Any major arcana reverse is the opposition of what it is that you want. Okay, especially if you have kings and queens also and an emperor. This is someone who is taking advantage of their power. And then I say Aries earlier. You have major icon of the emperor that's Aries. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an Aries individual. You could have also met this person in Aries season. Um, but more than anything, it's like any king or queen or somebody of power, nobility, and royalty in reverse means this is someone who's taking advantage of their power. And also someone being knocked off their throne. Upside down, they're being flipped on their head and knocked off their throne. They're taking advantage of their power for the worst, you know. And, and the emperor of right is already someone who is very stone cold, controlling. This person is out of control, okay? Just keeping their options open all over the place. I feel like what I'm getting is this, this person is out of damn control. They're out of control and out of line is what I'm getting with this individual. Definitely could be a spouse or someone that you've been with long enough to where it would, you know, people consider you all married, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the seven of cups. Make sure you are paying attention to the shuffles. Yeah, someone is out of control. I keep hearing this person is out of control. You guys will watch how that flipped out. You got two. Woo -hoo. The end of a karmic contract with the devil in reverse. Some of you all are definitely dealing with Capricorn also. Second time we've had this card. But in front, we have the nine of cups in reverse. Nine of cups of right is wish fulfillment just like your major arcana. Getting what it is that you want. I'm going to say again, something is hidden. Because you see how right behind him, there's a blue curtain. We don't know what's behind that curtain though. Definitely something shady because it's in reverse. Okay, someone is hiding something. 
and whatever it was is, is causing some emotional turmoil and then to have the double card reverse upright you see they are bound to each other and right here he has a contract in his hand but it has flames on it in reverse it definitely means that there's some type of toxic karmic contract that's coming to an end with you and someone again if you don't feel like this case you could definitely be dealing with someone with very strong capricorn in a chart okay bottom of the deck yep somebody's walking away the second time he had eight of cups and look what he's walking through one two three cups i'm telling you somebody may be leaving around the time of the full moon can't make this up so let's get a clarifier for the two of swords for aquarius sun moon rising venus some of you guys are indecisive you don't know what to do just seeing the two of pentacles yep indecision someone is not sure what to do and twos also talk about balance okay let me show you what you got here. Had a couple flip out. The Wheel of Fortune. Four cups again. Four of swords. And then it's strength card reverse. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with Leo or something that ended during Leo season. The opposite of strength is weakness. You have strength in reverse. So this situation made you either feel weak or or the, the there was a weakness in the relationship. But whatever it is, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, it was destined. It was fated and destined for this situation to go down the way that it did. The will of fortune. The universe is trying to take you in a different direction. And if you notice right here, you have this devil figure with the compass on his back. Compasses give you some sense of direction. Two of swords is needing to choose, make a choice about what to do. Um, whatever this situation was, is leading you to have to make a decision. Every single one of these characters have a book. So it's already written in stars and destined that this situation play out the way that it does. Somebody's snaking you out. You got a devil on one side and a snake on another. That's that's not a good combination, okay? Somebody is snaking you out, being shady, toxic, toxic as hell. This person knows they're being toxic. And they're very arrogant about it because if you look at him, he's sitting here very pompously, very arrogantly, very sure-footed of himself. But it's in reverse. This person was not doing what was right. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm going to say again, this person could definitely have been emotionally chaotic. Ooh, okay. Emotionally manipulative is what I'm hearing because you got the devil. There's somebody who wants to be controlling. Okay. But also with the Wheel of Fortune, you have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus energy. So that may resonate with your situation also. But more than anything, something that you didn't want to see. And I, what I'm picking up is that someone didn't want to see themselves going through some type of heartbreak. It's meant for you to go through this heartbreak. Because something else is on the other side of this situation. You know what I mean? It's already destined. It's predestined. So, and also, if you're trying to avoid it, it's like this is already written in stars. It's already predestined. It's already meant to happen. Because it's teaching you something. It's meant to teach you something. And uh, what I'm getting is somebody's like, I don't want to go through heartbreak. Why do I have to always go through heartbreak? I, I feel you. I wouldn't want to go through it either. But why well, would you want to deal with this also? It, this imbalance. This is so imbalanced. This is the opposite, you know, upright. This is wish fulfillment, um, feeling as though your cups are fulfilled. And reverse is like you're not getting what it is you need emotionally from this situation. And it's making you feel scattered and all over the place. Sad, overwhelmed, somebody's snaking you out. You got two cards where there's a snake behind you, right on your trail. You get what I'm saying? Like somebody's trying to snake you out and doing something shady and sneaky is what I'm getting even though you've been by their side and I'm like, cause I'm hearing the hook of the, the Jadakiss song again, you know, also, and I'm not saying this about him specifically, but I am hearing this. Like this may have been a person that you gave a chance and they weren't even on the same level as far as you, as far as um, societal norms and understanding this person may have been completely different than you. And you gave this person a chance and I'm saying I'm not trying to say anything about that because Jada Kiss, he's a rapper. He, you know, he comes from the hood or something like that. So this may be someone that you felt like, damn, you wasn't even on my level and I gave you a chance and you still did me dirty. Yeah, because I'm also hearing that this person financially may not have had the best upbringings. They weren't very financially stable and then you supported them. You may have supported them financially um, and, and brought them into a new class of life. And stability again, no shade because I know there's gonna be Jadakiss fans in the comments. Like, well, first of all, he's this, this. I don't give a damn. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. This, this could be a person who was not on your level, and and you gave them a chance. Your family and friends may have said, "Girl, what is?" Or, "Boy, what is you doing with this person?" And you, you did like this again, through caution to the wind. You didn't want to see it for how everyone else seen it or for what it was. And you gave this a person a chance. You stood by their side. You fought 
against the opposition. You fought against others who had something to say about the situation. And then again, I'm going to say they snaked you out. Intentionally. This is intentional deception. They took you on a journey intentionally because he's holding this compass. So, you know, this person, what they were doing. And again, I'm going to say emotional deception is what I'm getting. Master manipulator is what this person was. Very deceptive. But I feel like it was it was destined for this to happen so that you can move forward in a different direction because now you know the signs to look. I feel like this is teaching you the lesson, and I'm kind of cheating because <laughs> I'm telling you guys what it is. What you guys are doing or was doing was attracting narcissists. And now you're almost going to be like, because even now I'm seeing it's like her antennas are up now, right? So now you all are very attentive, and now you know what to pay attention to because you've dealt with a narcissist before so moving forward now you know you've learned the lesson i feel like you know that's why the will of fortune is in your favor it's upright because it's like you've learned the lesson and now you're getting ready to go to a more positive place and moving forward in different relationships because i feel like you're moving out of this you're gonna know what to pay attention to now your antennas are up i keep hearing that your antennas are up now so now you know what to look for but be cautious about being over guarded so that you can let someone else in. Because you definitely have someone who's destined to come in towards you. And it's going to be positive. Because you have the will of fortune. There's going to be a fortune and fated situation with this new person. Okay? So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.